I've decided to stop playing around with my quality and just do what I know I wanted to do in the beginning, which is use my vlogging camera. Anyway, what's up, lover muffins? This is um vlog number three. Now today is gonna to be very light. I have a Zoom class in a couple hours for Regeneration 180. And after Regeneration 180's Zoom class, I have illustrative work I'm sending off to my client. We're taking a light today, and I'm gonna give you some more insight onto Regeneration 180 in just a hot second. Let's get this day started. So this is the setup right now. We have our lighting, we have the painting here, you know? And um, this is what we're gonna be doing. I'm looking forward to teaching Regeneration 180. Baby, I am thrilled. <laughs> was a success. Regeneration 180, amazing little ones, let me tell you. First of all, let's talk about Regeneration 180 for a hot second. Regeneration 180 is a nonprofit African Center school based in Laurel, Maryland. I had the pleasure of illustrating a couple pieces for Regeneration 180's uh, curriculum, like a little like little random clip art pieces and you know things related to their coursework. And let me tell you, we're talking astrogeometry, we're talking the basics of psychology, we're talking comedic sciences, African cosmology, signs, shapes, and symbols, learning Yoruba. You don't even know, like the things that I wish I knew growing up, just off based off the curriculum in it, in and of itself. It's like wow, like this is a big deal. The public education education system is garbage. There is no denying that. So just having that knowledge or having the awareness of other schools and homeschoolers that are teaching these things, that is a big deal. Shout out to the Burroughs who do this as well. Keto and Javante Burroughs, like you guys are amazing, amazing parents. I've had the pleasure of working with their two daughters, like just to see how they teach. So if you were ever curious about Regeneration 180, yo, there's an Instagram page, Regeneration 180, there's the website, regeneration180.org, and you can just inquire, yo, like, big, big deal, big, big deal, a, a huge, a huge shaker in education. I, I'm not even joking when I say that, so. Yo, I've also, I have been in love with Apple TV. Oh my goodness, I finished, uh, what did I finish? I, well, I'm not finished yet, but I'm caught up on Servant from M, M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, I finished Defending Jacob, which was amazing. I am, right now I'm on Truth Be Told, I'm starting Wolf Walkers by, yo, the, the animation style behind Wolf Walkers is insane, yo. If you have not checked out Wolf Walkers, give it a watch to all my fellow illustrators, all my fellow artists who just like that, this type of art style, it get, it just gives me like, oh my God. Don't mind all these cables and cords. Uh, this is, you can tell there's there's been holes in the walls. We had things that were, that had all this hidden, you know, but um, we're in the process of, you know, entering it back into the wall. So don't mind any of that. It's just, that's just how it is for now. <laughs> Aside from that, there's a couple other things I'm working on. Let's get to work. Good news. Um, so one of the projects, one of the books I've illustrated for is officially, officially out. Uh, written by Dream Alana and Thomas Freeman Jr. and illustrated by me. It's 10 Black Heroes All Kids Should Know. 
Um, so quick backstory on how I met Mr. Freeman. So there's a Facebook group called Black Owned New Jersey where everyone is soliciting work um, or offering services and things of that nature. So Mr. Freeman had reached out and was looking for an illustrator and a bunch of my people, people who knew me. And if I said all your names, I don't want to say your names because I know I'm probably going to forget one of you guys. So I refuse to announce all of you. <laughs> but all of you who have who have mentioned me, thank you in the group. I appreciate you. So then Mr. Freeman reached out and looked at my website and then of course inquired and then we went on from there. The book was finally done. You know, the funny thing about illustrating books is you'll spend, and I, I say this to all illustrators, if you're illustrating and book designing, you must kind of expect <laughs> that your, your, your work is going to be 10% illustrating and 90% dealing with the publisher. <laughs> like that's a, that's always going to happen. Like the illustration part is easy. And if you're doing book design, you know, once you get the hang of it, it's, it's very simple. It's just that the publisher, you may have to make adjustments and sometimes they won't tell you exactly which pages are off. But thankfully in this particular case, Amazon will tell you publishers like Ingram Spark will tell you, you know, they'll give you specifics on errors that you may have made in the book design. So I, I appreciate all of that. The book is available right now on Amazon. I am excited. There's another book that's currently available for pre-order, but I'm not going to say anything. So this makes um, a total of seven books I've illustrated thus far um, and, and counting. So yeah, for all of you guys who have sent work my way, for all of you who have referred me, thank you. I appreciate you for those who are working with me and have worked with me. It was great. Um, yeah, Mr. Freeman and Dream, I'm proud of you guys. You did a great job with the book and I'm looking forward to see what, you know, what people think, you know, and the, the people that they learn, um, they learn about in the book as well. Oh my gosh, this looks, is this COVID weight or is this congestion? Hold on. Oh no. <laughs> I'm, I'm silly. I'm being silly. Anyway, I need a nap. Uh, I did a lot and, um, I know it doesn't look like it because I've, I've chopped a lot and edited a lot. But I have. <laughs> I promise I have. I'm going to take like a good 15, 30 minute nap. And then I know I've read that anything past 15 minutes is where your body starts to like get into full like sleep sleep. So I'm going to try to do a 15 minute or and then get my ass back up and um, hop over to hop over to this canvas. All right. Oh, what's up? So I look a mess. <laughs> I am on my way to the crystal spot. I'm gonna take a look at some crystals. I wanted to take a look at a selenite wand um, just to, you know, I heard some things about a selenite wand that I wanted to, I've been wanting to get one for quite some time. And I'm just like, I guess I'm drawn to that and getting a malachite pendant or charm or necklace for my, for my gold um, anchor necklace that I have. So yeah, um, you know, the focus right now, is just continue heart maintenance, uh, heart chakra maintenance. And of course, you know, I wanted to have better dream recall as well. Uh, so that selenite um, is gonna do the trick. So off to Gary's gym garden we go. I just recently dropped a podcast uh, at the end of 2020 called Saturn School and in that I spoke of you know the lessons I've learned in the course of my life you know during these um, the last three years astrologically speaking when Saturn went into Capricorn which was my Saturn return a lot of the lessons were around the courage to be myself um, compassion and empathy towards myself and others as a result of living truly as who I am and um, just it was just it was a huge it was a huge like heart like open heart surgery that's what i would call it that's what i've learned and staying staying away from a lot of conceptualizing staying away from a lot of intellectualizing and focusing on the application see you see what we got going on here yes it's a silver and gold mix but we got we got a nice little balance here the gold of course is dominant but here we got that malachite and we got that silver yes baby Yes, baby. Quick update on the painting, by the way. So all of the thread has been taken off. Um, I do have to push his arms back though, because it's interfering with providing form like in the chest area. And I'm not really feeling how, it's just not, 
proportionally it's off. I don't like the way it's looking. So what you will end up seeing next is his arms are gonna be pushed back a little more. You're gonna see, it's just gonna be different in terms of just the positioning of his body because um, I'm not, I'm just not feeling it right now. And I won't spray fix the tape on it until I have that taken care of. I was in the middle of a webinar and I fell asleep and ended up waking up at 6 a.m. the following day, today. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> So yeah, uh, today I'm just, you know, I'm celebrating my nephew's Earth Day today. He's 10. If you watch my art series for children, The Paint at Fool's Paint House, he's on the episode of How to Paint an Airplane. His voice is behind the tortoise. That's him. But he turned 10 today and we're going to celebrate over, uh, you know, in a little gaming vehicle and um, have some fun with him. So I don't want to hold you for too long. You know, provide me feedback on if you'd like for these to be a little longer or not in the meantime. But yeah, so I'll catch you next time, lover muffins. Peace.